be it awkward first dates, getting ghosted, having a crush who doesn't like you back, or having your friends and family constantly try to set you up. Dating can be hard. Don't worry, we get it. We've all been there. But before you throw in the towel altogether, we've got some insights and advice that might just turn your dating game around. So stick around as we explore some common dating dilemmas, and most importantly, what you can do about it. Ready? The fear factor. Do you find yourself getting scared whenever you catch feelings for someone? Maybe someone broke your heart in the past, leaving you with a lingering fear of getting hurt again. We've all been there. Rejection can sting, but it's a natural part of the dating journey. It's not a reflection of your worth, but rather an honest acknowledgement when someone just isn't right for you. It's okay to be upset and afraid, but don't let it consume you. See rejection as redirection, not a roadblock. Who knows, the right match might be just a rejection away. The comparison trap. In the age of social media, it's easy to fall into the comparison trap, especially when it comes to your dating life. Scroll through your feed and it feels like everyone's either falling in love or flaunting a picture-perfect relationship. But social media showcases a carefully curated highlight reel, not the messy real-life bloopers we all experience. Your journey is still unfolding at its own pace and the best chapters are yet to come. So don't let the filtered snapshots of others' lives overshadow the beautiful narrative you're still creating. Dating fatigue. Are you tired of swiping left all the time? Had one bad date too many? Sometimes dating can be fun and exciting, but it can also leave you frustrated and disappointed. Dating fatigue is a real thing. And if you're feeling like you're stuck in a dead end with too many romantic letdowns, you're not alone. It's okay to take a step back and focus on other aspects of your life for now. Get back into your hobbies. Spend time with yourself and your loved ones. Trust that the right person is out there, patiently waiting for the perfect moment to enter your life. Unrealistic expectations. Do you consider yourself a hopeless romantic? Are you waiting for a fairy tale romance with the perfect match to sweep you off your feet? It's easy to fall into the trap of expecting every date to be a scene from a rom-com, but having unrealistic expectations often leads to disappointment. After all, real life relationships can be messy and awkward. So adjust your expectations Learn to compromise and give yourself and others the space to be authentic. That way, you'll find something real and lasting, not just a fantasy. Emotional baggage. Ever notice how some people jump right into a new relationship fresh from a breakup, only to scratch their heads when it crashes and burns? Does this sound like you? Holding on to emotional baggage can be a dating roadblock, like dragging around a suitcase full of memories, heartaches, and unresolved issues. So don't carry the weight of past relationships into your new one. Rather, unpack that baggage, sort through your feelings, and find some closure. Reflect on the lessons learned and let them go. Making space for new, exciting possibilities. Only when you attain emotional freedom can you form stronger, more meaningful connections with others. Did learning about all these things make you wanna get back into the dating scene again? Or did it help you realize some things about yourself that you need to work on first? We'd love to hear your thoughts and stories in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful and wanna learn more, Click here to watch five signs you want to be single, but your heart doesn't, and five ways you're pushing your crush away unconsciously. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. Thanks for watching.